Hey everyone, I'm Marcos and I'm Moxie Boosted, and I'm back for another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC moveset guide video. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with my channel, I am a VGC player. I go to some VGC tournaments whenever I have time, and I really like com I really like competing and interacting with the community online. And now that Pokemon Sword and Shield are out, there are a whole lot of new Pokemon I'm excited to try out, and a lot of new strategies I want to share with you. So, if you guys want to subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. At the very least, I'd appreciate it if you left a like on this video to help me spread my channel to other people and hopefully get my name out there. But today we're going to be taking a look on on today we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite Pokemon to come out of this generation, and that is Toxtricity. It's really hard to pronounce. I thought it was like Toxicity, but no, it's Toxtricity. We just skipped the vowel altogether. But uh, this is a really interesting Pokemon. It has a couple of really cool abilities and one signature ability that I think is going to be very useful and competitive. Uh, and its three abilities are Punk Rock, Plus, and Technician. Now, I'll get into why Technician isn't that good for this Pokemon in a minute. Um, but going over the first two abilities, Punk Rock boosts the power of sound based moves and you also take half damage from sound based moves so let's say your opponent goes for a hyper voice you will be taking half damage from that and if you go for a hyper voice it'll be boosted now i'm not sure what the boost is in general but um for general purposes pokemon have been known to have their abilities boost their moves by like at minimum 1.2 times so it's still a notable boost even if it's 1.2 times i'm assuming it's going to be anywhere between 1.3 to 1.5 though so if you go for a sound based move expect it to be much stronger i couldn't find any information on the actual multiplier so i'm going based off of what i expect from the pokemon company and game freak so uh the second ability plus not really useful at all uh you just get like a special attack boost i believe if a partner has the ability minus so that, like that's that's really situational um yeah it's 1.5 special attack if your partner has the ability minus and it's not really that great because you usually end up with two electric types in the fields or an electric type and a steel type so they end up dying to earthquake anyway so we won't be using that at all and technician would be good i guess if we had hidden power still but we do not and toxtricity's you know, its move pool isn't that great when you get below 60 base power. So there aren't many moves that can take advantage of that. So all these sets are going to be using Punk Rock, which is honestly its best ability. The first one is really, really fun. It's something that I came up with as soon as I found that this item existed. There's a new item in the game called Throat Spray. You get plus one special attack after using a uh, sound based move, and it goes off once. So it's destroyed after you use it. But. This actually is really cool for Toxtricity because it already has its sound based moves boosted by Punk Rock and it has a special sound based move called Overdrive. It's 80 base power and with Thunderbolt being 90 base power, I feel like it's safe to assume after a Punk Rock we're going to be stronger than a Thunderbolt. So we have that boost and on top of that, after we use it for the first time, Overdrive is going to be hitting like a truck because of the 1.5 special attack. Also, Overdrive hits both opponents and goes through Substitute because of the fact that it's a sound based move. So that's really cool. Sludge Bomb is going to be its next move. It's a nice stab option for hitting some fairy types, hitting grass types, and yeah, it, honestly, it's just poison such a good offensive typing ever since fairies were introduced into the game. I feel like uh, Toxtricity is going to be a really nice uh, fairy type killer. And our third move has the option between Snarl and Taunt. Snarl being boosted by uh, Punk Rock is really cool. You'll be able to hit some ghost types uh, and lower the special attack stats of your opponents, allowing Toxtricity to get a little bit more longevity uh, in the sense that it won't be taking as much damage after that special to, or that special attack drop. Also, Taunt is really cool because uh, you'll be able to stop things like Trick Room, uh, Roar, a whole bunch of other non-damaging moves. You can stop setup, and it's just a really nice tool for Toxtricity to have in its arsenal. The final move is, of course, going to be Protect, and that's just because it's pretty standard on VGC teams to have Protect on a Pokemon, especially one as frail as Toxtricity. You can see with 75 HP, 98 attack, 70 defense, 114 special attack, 70 special defense, and 75 speed, it's kind of clear that you're going to want to lean towards the faster special attack variant, but if you want to have some fun, I have another set you might want to try out. This is my Adamant Shift Gear Toxtricity set, and... I like I was just playing through my game, saw that Toxtricity got shift gear. I'm like, that is really interesting. I don't see a gear on this thing's body. I mean, maybe on its like hips or something, but I don't know what you call those. Definitely not gears in my opinion. 
But this is a really interesting set. Shift Gear is a really awesome move. It's basically Dragon Dance, but better. Um, you get your speed raised by two stages, so it doubles, and you get your attacks uh, raised by one stage. So uh, you're able to take advantage of his physical move pool then. Uh, with 98 attack, it isn't like amazing, but it's pretty usable after that boost, especially if you slap on a Life Orb or a Magnet. Uh, and honestly, it's, its physical move pool is pretty shallow, but you do get access to some pretty cool moves like... Drain Punch and Low Kick, I believe, but Wild Charge and Poison Jab are the moves we're going to be going with here because they're awesome stab moves, and with a Magnet or a Life Orb, Wild Charge is going to be doing some pretty absurd damage, especially if you're packing that Adamant Nature. We're using an Adamant Nature instead of a Jolly Nature because we're not too concerned with speed since we're going to plus 2 instead of plus 1 immediately, so that's really cool. Uh, I feel like if there's a bulky Water type, it tends to be more of a specially defensive Pokemon like a Raquanid, so... Just being able to hit it on that physical side is really cool tech, and it'll definitely take some opponents by surprise. This next set, I believe, is something that a lot of people are going to use. It's going to be a choice spec set. It's pretty simple, to be honest. Uh, choice specs, toxicity, I can't pronounce it, toxicity, uh, with punk rock. Now, we only take advantage of, of punk rock with two of our moves here, and that's going to be with overdrive and hyper voice. But having Volt Switch on top of that Overdrive, uh, one Volt Switch will only hit one target, so you can bypass Wide Guard. And two, it's nice as a pivot Pokemon, especially since we're running max speed. Um, I also went with a Modest Nature instead of a Timid Nature here, because personally, I believe that if you're going to go with Choice Specs, you might as well go for max damage. We don't know how the metagame is looking quite yet, so maybe you'll end up seeing some Choice Specs Timid Toxtricities. Uh, we have no idea where it's going, but it'd be really cool if uh, Modest could stick around for a while because the damage you're going to be doing with this thing is basically Throat Spray's damage, but you don't have to be afraid to switch out. You can consistently get off a really powerful Volt Switch every time you come in, and uh, Overdrive is going to be doing major damage to everything on the other side of the field. On top of that, Hyper Voice is really nice for hitting those ground types that would normally resist your Poison type moves and take uh, no damage at all from Overdrive or Volt Switch. And uh, being boosted by Punk Rock is definitely something that's really cool. And the final set I have for you guys today is actually just going to be a variant of this pretty much. It's the Choice Scarf set. Uh, it's essentially identical except we're running max speed with a Tibid Nature and Choice Scarf. And the reason that you might want to use this is because Toxtricity has some pretty middling speed. Uh, while this Pokedex isn't especially fast, uh, there are definitely some Pokemon that Toxtricity has no chance of outspeeding. Dragapult is going to be an issue. And uh, I believe Gyarados naturally outspeeds it. So that's definitely not something that you want. In fact, let me double check. I want to make sure I'm right with this. Yeah, Gyarados does outspeed you if he's a jolly nature. Gyarados has 81 base speed where you have 75. So just being able to uh, go for a move right off the bat and not having to go for like, I don't know, a shift gear um, is really cool. And uh, just getting a Volt Switch over and over again, pivoting in and out on your opponent, this can be really used for, to for toxicity. Some partners that I think Toxtricity is really going to appreciate uh, might be some Lightning Rod users because you could adjust the set to be, instead of Overdrive, being something like Discharge. So while it wouldn't be optimal because you have two Electric types in the field, you could try to use some shenanigans where you have like a fake out Raichu next to a Toxtricity using Discharge, right? So you fake out one of your opponent's Pokemon, probably the ground type, go for this Discharge, boost the special attack of your Raichu by a stage, and then the next turn, you know, you're already faster than your Raichu because your Choice Scarf. You get another Discharge off, and then you can go for uh, a powerful, I don't know, Surf or whatever water move that Raichu gets in this generation uh, to get rid of that ground type, and you're just boosting the special attack in general. So you can just start spamming those spread moves over and over again. But yeah, uh, my honest opinion of Toxtricity is that it's going to be a very... I don't think it's going to be, like... S tier in VGC. I feel like it's going to be a really high tier Pokemon in general, just by the sheer damage it's able to put out. Uh, but being the only poison electric type in the gen in this generation and every generation ever, um, will make it susceptible to getting hit by the very common earthquake or drill runs that you'll see running around. I definitely think that Excadrill is going to be a hard counter to it. Um, but in general, I think Toxtra City definitely has some tools on its side that you don't want to overlook. Definitely the punk rock sound base boosted sound base the punk rock sound moves being boosted um is really cool so definitely a pokemon that i want to try out let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below i'd really appreciate that if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time be sure to leave a like subscribe for more pokemon content and yeah i'll try to get out some competitive vgc sessions or maybe some single sessions out soon uh also 
be sure to check out my social media and everything in the description join my discord we're trying to get some more people in there to get best of three sessions with i just want to put that out there before i end the video but yeah with that i'm going to call it guys everyone have a nice night and i'll see you guys in the next one bye oh and comment what pokemon you want me to make a video on bye